Hi friends, and thank you for tuning in. My name is Chris Gill, and I am a program manager on the Nougat team. Today, I'm excited to show you how you can discover vulnerable and deprecated packages in your package graph with Visual Studio 2022 and the .NET CLI. So what does it mean for a package to be vulnerable or deprecated? A vulnerability is a problem in a project's code that creates a potential risk of compromising security. So if you use a vulnerable package, then the security risk of that package may get transferred to you. Vulnerabilities vary from low to critical severity, and a single package can have multiple vulnerabilities. A deprecated package is generally a package that is no longer recommended by the owner. Reasons for package deprecation can include total loss of support, critical bugs, or there's a newer recommended generation of the package that they're trying to nudge you toward. And with that, let's dive into Visual Studio. First, we'll focus on discovery, then I'll show you how you can resolve some of these package issues. In Visual Studio, one way I can discover installed vulnerable or deprecated packages is by opening the NuGet Package Manager UI. You can get here by right-clicking on the project and going to Manage NuGet Packages. If any of my packages are deprecated or vulnerable, then I'll see a warning indicator next to the Installed tab header. Hovering over it will give me some context about the number of affected packages I have. Let's go see my installed packages. I can identify the specific problematic packages by looking for the warning indicator on the package items. I can tell which is vulnerable and which is deprecated by hovering over the warning indicators or by selecting the package. Now, if I click on a vulnerable package, I can see that this version of Microsoft.ChocoCore has three vulnerabilities with high severity. I can also see links to each applicable advisory so I can learn more about how these vulnerabilities might impact my application. Deprecated packages, on the other hand, can have an alternate suggested package. In this case, the owner of Windows Azure.Storage is suggesting that I use the newer Azure.Storage.Blobs instead. To learn more about the alternate package, I can just click on the link. Now, selecting the deprecated package, I can also find a link that will bring me to nougat.org, which may have some additional details, including a custom message from the owner about why the deprecation happened and what steps I should take. You can also audit your package graph for vulnerable and deprecated packages with the .NET CLI using the .NET list package command. Including the include transitive option will also let us discover deprecated and vulnerable transitive dependencies. This is functionality we're actively working to bring to the package manager UI as well. So be on the lookout. To audit my solution for deprecated packages, I can use the .NET list package include transitive deprecated command. And it looks like I only have Windows Azure.Storage as a deprecated package. So no transitive dependencies are deprecated. That's good. To audit my solution for vulnerable packages, I can use the .NET list package include transitive vulnerable command. And would you look at that? It did actually discover a transitive package with a moderate severity vulnerability in system.txt.regularexpressions. So it looks like I actually have three problematic packages in my solution, including two direct dependencies and one transitive dependency. So now let's go ahead and try to resolve some of these issues. First, let's start with our vulnerable packages, specifically Microsoft.ChakraCore. Just like the instructions say, I can try updating the package version. So I'm going to preview the latest version of this package, 1.11.24, and I can see it doesn't have any vulnerabilities. So I'm going to go ahead and update. And awesome, I can see that that got rid of the vulnerability. That's one down and one more to go. Now let's go to the Browse tab and look for our other vulnerable package, system.txt.regularexpressions. I can click on it and see that the latest version of the package does not have any vulnerabilities. So I'll go ahead and install it directly. Installing a package directly will override the transitive version. So the vulnerable version I had will get replaced by the latest version of the package instead. Now I can make sure it worked by running the .NET list package vulnerable command again. And 
and hopefully we shouldn't see any vulnerable packages pop up. And yes, it worked. All right, time to move on to our deprecated package. Let's go back to the install tab, look at all of our installed packages. And what I'm gonna do is just follow the owner's advice and I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to Azure storage.blobs. So let's take a look at the package. It's from a reputable author. It looks in line with my expectations. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Now I'm gonna go back to my installed packages tab and uninstall my old deprecated package, essentially just swapping it out with the newer azure.storage.blobs. And that's it, now we're finished. So today I showed you how you can discover and resolve vulnerable and deprecated packages with Visual Studio and the .NET CLI. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you have an amazing .NET Conf.